So a traditional method for species and habitat monitoring often include divers or camera systems that are drop or stationally mounted. So using a drop camera system or a stationally mounted camera system that's submerged underwater can be useful, but it also is limiting in terms of getting data in different areas. Using a drop camera that's stationally mounted will give you good data in one spot, but if the water clarity is poor, then you're unable to see, or if you have a species swim by and you would like to collect data and follow that species, see if there's more around it, you're unable to do that. When you're one person with a camera taking pictures at certain places, it's, it's kind of just a snapshot in time, whereas like with the ROV, you can kind of reach a wider range of the eelgrass and get a bigger picture of what it's looking like. ROVs are a great tool for visual applications underwater because they give you a platform to collect data that is safer, faster, and easier to use than traditional methods. ROVs aren't just a traditional camera system. You can also add things such as sonar to them to help deal with murky water. And we also have a turbidity filter that can be used with your video to help bring forward more details even when the water conditions aren't great. When we first put it in the water, I was really surprised with just how clear it is and um, being able to see little details. We can get close enough to see even the small fish going in and out of there um, and be able to identify the species with pretty good accuracy. Using divers for species and habitat monitoring is a great tool. Uh, they're able to get down and follow around fish or other species that you're looking at. They're also able to evaluate the environment that they have in front of them. One of the limiting factors to divers though that we consistently see is depth and not having the divers be able to go deep enough in order to collect the data that's required. Having an ROV has allowed us to explore areas here in Gross Moon and in Bombay that have never been researched before. So it's beyond the depths of traditional scuba diving that you know so no one was going down there and no one was able to see. ROVs are a great tool to use with divers as a team. So if you're doing research within the range of where divers can go, having an ROV adds a safety element to having them underwater. You can do pre-inspections to make sure that there's no hazards for the divers when they're under the water doing the job, but you can also have an ROV in the water in tandem with the divers, so you're making sure to monitor their safety in real time. You can put a camera down, you can use a drop camera, you can use telescopes, you can do scuba diving and snorkeling. But the use of ROV I think is something that a lot of organizations are starting to use and utilize because you can go deeper depths. It's more safe than actually putting human bodies underneath the water. This is such a great way that we can get into the water and I always call it like virtual snorkeling. We get people kind of in the water through a virtual sense and it streams footage live to all of the screens and it's so cool to see everybody's you know look on their faces when they see this underwater habitat right in front of them and they're just floating right on top of it and it just gets more of that connection from the person to the habitat so we're exploring. 